I'm Brenda and welcome back to Daily Dose of. Today we are going to do a very interesting challenge. I saw this on Michelle Fan's channel the other day and it is the do your makeup with chopsticks only challenge. I haven't really seen this around YouTube that much. It looked super silly but kind of fun at the same time. So I whipped out my little strawberry chopsticks. I also took my fake nails off yesterday because it's really hard using chopsticks with fake nails. Without further ado, let's get into it. So today I'm actually gonna try out the Morphe 2 foundations. I got the shade Hint of Almond and Hint of Toast. Let me see what shade I am. I think I'm just a mix of the two. We'll go Hint of Almond. It's so hard squeezing the dropper. Oh my god, with the chopsticks. My hands are gonna get so tired. Oh my god! Foundation on my sweatshirt. It's fine, I'll wash it. Let's grab my beauty blender. And, oh wow, this actually has really good coverage. The Morphe 2 line was supposed to be like a very natural line. Oh my god. Oh no. I got foundation in my hair. There we go. There we go. Patting it in. Now that my foundation is blended in, I'm going to try going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I am in the shade medium. I'm not going to unscrew things with chopsticks uh, because I can't and we just wouldn't have a video. How am I going to do under eye concealer? I'm getting some on my nose. Well, we might as well just cover down our nose anyways. Cover a dark spot. Oh my god, my hand is cramping. Blend this baby in. I don't know how to use this part. Well, okay. No, no, it's gotta be the round part. Otherwise I'm poking my eyeballs out. All blended in. Honestly, so far so good. Next up, I'm gonna try the Anastasia Brow Definer. This I feel is hard because it's so slippery. Maybe if I hold like the brush part. Okay, okay. I'm kinda holding it. I'm just kinda like, Gravity help me. Ugh. Oh my god, my hand. <laughs> Who invented this challenge? We're gonna take uh, spoolie brush time. We're just gonna blend this out. Ugh. No! Okay, okay, okay. I can do that. Oh. So I thought I would bring you guys a little closer as we move into the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, we're gonna be going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I don't know how to do this. How's... We're going in with Classy and Sassy. At least it smells good. Okay. This is probably the hardest thing I've had to do all quarantine. Oh my god, my hand is so Should we just move on to the next shade? We're gonna go in with Love and Coco. Maybe the e.l.f. blending brush is what I need. Okay. Ooh, easier to hold already. Oh my god, this is kind of working. Ooh, ooh, stop swimming. <laughs> okay, how does this look? I'm gonna go in with Rich Girl. This seems to be working. Mm. There's definitely nothing on here. And I'm about to poke my eyeball with a chopstick. Oh, You know, like the eyebrush is the most. Okay, it's fine. Who needs an inner highlight? We are gonna go in 
with a little black eyeliner. Instead of a liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I feel like if I constantly drop it, it'll be less messy. Maybe this won't work. How am I gonna dip it? Just so there's actually product to work with, I'm just gonna dip with my hand, because otherwise we're just gonna skip the step, and I feel like the challenge will be putting it on. So I'm, I'm putting some stuff on the brush. I'm sorry, okay? You you guys can do the challenge with pure chopsticks, but let me tell you, not, not what it's cracked up to be. Can you, can you tell that there's a little bit of eyeliner? Do y'all want more eyeliner? Will y'all hate me if I move on to the next step? The next step might be kind of fun. False eyelashes. Man, I should have done this challenge in like a bathtub or something where everything would fall, not all over the place. This I was honestly a little excited about because chopsticks could kind of be like tweezers. Honestly, putting on false eyelashes just cleans up this messy eye look a little bit, right? Now that we can move on from the eyes, I am going in with the Glossier Cloud Paint. This is in the shade Eve. Can I like use both hands to squish? Oh, holy shit, this is okay. Really pigmented. Taking my trusty beauty blender. blends quite well. <gasps> Uh-oh, too much, too much. That's definitely too much. Any off. Let's spread it a little bit. Put some more on this side. I'm gonna look like a clown. Oh, I was doing so well. This is too much blush. Man, this is the kind of blush I needed for my e-girl look. I can fix this. I'm coming back in with some concealer. Okay, I think this kind of fixed it a little bit. Does this look a little bit more natural? Okay. Ah, oh, this feels a little better, doesn't it? Next, I am trying this Morphe 2 Gloss Pop for face and eye gloss. Okay. And did that do anything? Oh, look at that, there's a little bit of a shimmer going. That's cute. Want to do it with the beauty blender? Ooh, this catches the light a little bit. Do you see that? This is nice. It's very, very natural. Let me tell y'all about the texture. Oh, it's very creamy. That's interesting. It honestly doesn't feel glossy at all. It feels a little oily, a little creamy, but it seems to soak up in the cheeks so well. Look at that shine. Just massaging my hands a little bit. We're sealing everything in with a powder. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower. Beauty Bakery has such cute packaging. Everything is around a bakery, which is why their setting powder is called Flower. But I got the Cassava shade, and this is just like a banana powder, like a yellowy banana powder. Uh, is using two hands cheating? All right, blend it in the powder a little bit. This is gonna be the messiest make or break fail moment. I'm going in with the ColourPop Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beeper. I'll just maybe let gravity do the work. Okay, it 
didn't go anywhere. I feel like that made it worse. Oh, we didn't contour. Last but not least, I know this is a little out of order. The Huda Tantor Contour Cream. And then the shade Light. Dip this in. I mean, is it cheating if it's like resting on my hand? There we go. That trusty beauty blender here to save the day. I don't know how to... How do I get that angle? I think that's everything I can think of to try to put on my face with chopsticks. The eyeshadow is questionable. The blush is overdone. The lips are messy, but I will say my foundation blended in like a breeze. Using a dropper and a beauty blender helps blend things into my face really well. Like this, this would be weird to go out in public. I think from afar, I can kind of get away with it, maybe. It's just, the further I put you guys, the smaller the viewfinder is and the more acceptable I look. But if I hold up a mirror to my face, so that brings us to the end of this very strange challenge. That is two hours of my life I'm never getting back. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.